Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Tori if you're new here and today we are going to be doing a what's for dinner. So I recorded a bunch of recipes throughout the week. These are budget friendly and they are from my shelf, total shelf cook meals. And I did record a sushi night but I recorded it in the wrong orientation and ended up trying to just put that on Instagram. But I still wanted to share it with you because they are different takes on some of the meals that we had. I am very excited to share these recipes with you. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the video. Today we are making some green chili, pork green chili, and I'm going to make my veggie kind. So I'm going to put this in the crock pot. It is best when it is cooked low and slow. And we like to serve ours with some flour tortillas and make it kind of into a taco. It's super delicious. So in the large pot, I'm going to do the pork green chili, and then in the small pot, I'm going to do mine, and I'm going to use lentils. So here is what you're going to need. We just picked these up from Target. It is a pork loin filet, just a roast, and you can just place that right into your crock pot and you're gonna need beef broth I didn't have any so we got these from one of the meal kits I'm just going to use this packet with four cups of water you're gonna need a dash of liquid smoke just remember all of these recipes will be linked in the description box so I know this has a lot of elements but you will get the exact measurements in the description um, some Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce. This does contain anchovy, so I'm going to leave this out of mine. I have some green pepper Tabasco, some salsa verde. This has the green chilies in it, which is really what we need to make Colorado green chili. And then a little bit of mild regular salsa. Lentils for my portion, so don't put this in the pork. And then for spices, you're going to need chili powder, cumin, black pepper, and salt. And then you're going to need some bell pepper as well as onion. This would be a good time to add jalapenos if you wanted to. We just don't have any. So jalapenos would be really good in this. And then a clove of garlic. My husband doesn't really like a lot of garlic, so I'm going to put more of this into my pot. I'm going to put this all together, cook it low and slow for eight hours on low, obviously. And then I will check in back with you just to show you how we serve this. This is going to be super tasty and it makes your house smell really good. I thought it was recording, it wasn't. So all you need to do is shred this pork and put it right back in to your liquid and then set your crock pot to warm and you are golden to go test drive some cars in the meantime, which is what we're doing. All right, I'm gonna make a little slurry of cornstarch and water. I'm sorry if it's loud, the dishwasher's going. Just to thicken it up a bit, I don't always have to do this. It really just depends, cause I eyeball things and I'm never gonna have an exact recipe for you, sorry. <laughs> All 
All right, so just go ahead and put that in and that will thicken up your chili. Okay, tonight we are going to have a giant pierogi feast, we shall call it, but we have a bunch of mashed potatoes and spaghetti squash that we need to use up. So I am going to make a quick little pierogi dough and then put the mashed potatoes in there and serve it with some bell pepper and sauteed onions with a little bit of butter. It's gonna be super, super good. I will drop the recipe down below in the description, but I kind of just eyeball these. You're gonna need some flour, some baking powder, and some salt and a little bit of warm water for your dough then you're going to roll that out and then put the mashed potatoes on the inside so if you've never had a pierogi these are super delicious and let's get started Alrighty, tonight we are going to have some avocado toast and we're just going to use what we have in the refrigerator and I do need to go to the grocery store so we are going to have some sourdough bread. We can probably eat like three pieces each honestly and then on mine I'm going to put some guacamole and the Kite Hill cream cheese with a little bit of hemp seed and then on everybody else's I'm going to put some cheese, egg, typical butter and a little bit of bacon and then 
for the side we are going to have some zoodles and asparagus with that homemade marinara sauce and this will be super filling for us i really enjoy making different dinners like this because normally we would have something like this for breakfast so let me show you how i put this all together Alrighty, while the eggs cook i am actually just going to steam the asparagus and the zucchini with salt pepper and olive oil while everything cooks and then i will top it with that marinara so this is really easy to just do at the same time if that makes sense okay, so i have three eggs in there for my husband and my son and i just pop the yolk like that and put salt and pepper on there and then i'll flip it those are the easiest eggs for us when we are putting it on toast and dinner is served over here i have my husband's egg cheese and hot sauce on sourdough he is not a fan of the veggie blend so he'll probably just eat this and we snack a lot during the day so he's good and then for my son i have some cheese i have a tomato in the shape of a w like his name wilder so maybe he'll go for it i don't know i have some veggies over here and some eggs and then over here we have some of my zucchini and asparagus the zucchini lets out a lot of water, so I just kept it in this glass container so my bread didn't get soggy. And then I have my homemade tomato veggie sauce, as well as my toast with some guacamole. I was going to put the Kite Hill on there, but um, it was moldy. That's my only concern, I guess, complaint about Kite Hill. It goes bad pretty fast, but... Um, usually I go through it because I love it so much. Um, so just the guacamole and then I have some tomatoes and hemp seeds and yeah, this is dinner. I'm super excited to dive into this. It's just a nice little breakfast for dinner idea for you if you are in a rut and you're looking for something fun and different for dinner. For this night, it was just my son and I, and he was requesting pizza, so we used some of that dough from the pierogies, and I'm gonna put some vegan chicken tenders, marinara sauce, and broccoli on top of that, and then I'm gonna make some homemade ranch for my son to dip it in. He is a huge fan of dipping things right now, so he's really gonna love this. I'm gonna cook this pizza at 400 for around 20 minutes and serve it with a cucumber and tomato salad. and welcome to sushi night in the wrong orientation my apologies we are going to do a vegan crab roll a veggie roll with the rice on the outside and then we're going to do like a buffalo chicken roll so let me just show you how i do this i will link all of the recipes for these in the description box below
Alrighty, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed these recipes and let me know which one was your favorite down below. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Bye.